Hey everybody, Mona Weasel here, 4.30 a.m. early Saturday morning, May 24th, 2014. I just introduced uh, Lightcore Bumble Blast, that one's part 72. Uh, again, Doomstone, I did ahead of time, that's part 73. Uh, they'll be ordered correctly in the playlist. And what I know for sure, part 74, that is going to be Kickoff Countdown. Now you're probably thinking, hey, why didn't you get him on box yet? Uh, why don't you have his introductions up yet? You know, you're supposed to do that stuff, have it up early. I have good reason for this this one. Um, I have known about Kickoff Countdown since the release uh, day of Skylander Swap Force. How did I know about that? It's not inside information. I have a Nintendo 3DS, and just like it's done the past two years, that's given me access to know who's coming out, uh, what special, you know, granted there's some characters you don't know about, but uh, the ones in the game, they're actually all listed out there for you, nice and orderly, so... Um, I guess you heard that too. Um, if you didn't, <laughs> I'm not crazy, but the uh, final stink bomb video just got done rendering, so that's good. That decreases my chances of dropping frames here. Um, that said, the whole story on Kickoff Countdown, my nephew's favorite sport is soccer. Uh, so obviously he would have a vested interest in this guy had he known he existed I never told him I wanted it to be a surprise uh, he came out this past Sunday uh, my nephew's soccer season actually wrapped up the Saturday right before then so it was really good timing um, worked out pretty well so um, finally now I've got some time I went ahead I want to do the unboxing with him so this guy's actually still in this packaging but uh, I picked up a Another round of him tonight at Toys R Us. I went in there. Uh, my goal, again, was to get Gorilla Drilla, Roller Brawl, and Riptide. Those are uh, three characters that I need a second one of to take the paths. They're having the sale, buy one, get one, 50% off, and it's not because the sale depleted them. They just haven't had those characters in forever. Uh, Gorilla Drilla, I can find at Target. They sometimes have a sale. Um, Roller Brawl. I think last time I was in Walmart I saw her, but at the time I was like really far away from doing upgrades. Riptide is someone that I haven't seen in quite some time. Um, that said, you know, eventually I'll land them, I'll try to do it on a sale, but uh, that's the whole story there. Now the good news on Kickoff Countdown, I grabbed two of them tonight just since it was... Uh, you know, the buy one, get one 50% off. I didn't really have anything else I needed, so figured why not, you know, it's the special one. Um, Tons of them were on the shelf at Toys R Us. So that is good news there. Again, sometimes when they have those release days, uh, they'll go through a character, it's gone, and they don't get them back in for a while. Plenty of Doomstones were out, and plenty of Kickoff Countdown. So if you don't have Kickoff Countdown, if you didn't know he existed, now you do. You know where to get him. The good news is he was at Toys R Us first. He should be across the country at Walmart uh, by now. If not, he should be this weekend early next week to the east coast and then uh should appear i guess at uh, gamestop and other places so uh, it was kind of weird i thought i had read that he was supposed to be only at toys r us and some official literature and then the toys r us ad was like get it here first and so uh, i guess he will be a widespread release you know so uh, that's good news for those of you that don't have a toys r us nearby that said Litecore bumble blast is sitting there on your screen when we back out of here and we'll get to see kickoff countdown's intro uh, i know for a fact i have not put him on the portal of power so i don't have to worry about that but uh... nonetheless here we go we will take a look at kickoff countdown <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, so no accolades, but um, this is pretty dadgum cool. That hat. Uh, I didn't know, obviously, the character itself, you know, it has the fuse on top of it, but uh, the hat, I assume, is that little soccer ball. Very, very, very cool, at least in my opinion. Now, obviously, he looks like a soccer ball. Uh, his bomb head has been kind of painted up to look like that. Then, of course, he has a soccer. Uh, ball hat on there. Uh, the other thing they did that was unexpected, his shoes, if you will, or you could call them cleats now, I guess, got the white and black treatment just like a soccer ball. Um, I'm assuming when we do an attack, you know, uh, the bomb head or something, um, it's probably going to look regular. I don't know that for sure. I'm just guessing based on past experiences, but... Um, it would have been epic if it looked like a soccer ball, so I guess we should check that out. Uh, his primary attack, it is, I believe, 
rocket go rocket might be rocket blast it's rocket something but uh, here's what it's gonna look like 19 damage you get the general idea there uh, 57 we're gonna be looking at what's uh, 29, I guess 19 to 29. Now here's the moment of truth. His secondary attack uh, is bomb head. Let's uh, just throw it over here. Actually, let's get a cool camera angle in case it is a soccer ball. You know, it it's pretty clear to me that it's not, but to their credit, since it is red, I mean, you could just assume that it's like a really hot soccer ball or something. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, that's kind of a cool attack. Um, 18 on the hit, and then. What a blue. Well, get back there. Okay. 18 on the hit, and then when I detonate it, near an enemy. 38 to 57, I believe. So I'll have. That is awesome. I never knew you could do that, have it bounce off of something. I mean, I knew it would bounce, like, off of a wall or an enemy or something, but, like, that one literally was like that guy was hitting it or something. Uh, anyway, that's his two base attacks. Again, what does he look like when he jumps? Really cool. I always liked how his head spun uh, whenever he jumped, but now that he is in soccer ball trim, it just looks adds that extra dimension to it. I'm going to come from this angle so you get a good look at him. There's one of the jumps. There's one off the mushroom. Um... Just kind of a cool, fun, lovable character, if you will. Kind of trigger happyish, you know, springtime trigger happy, Mr. Feel Good, if you will. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this guy. So plus he's not light core, so you know uh, that works well for me. Um, anyway, uh, we'll come in here now. It looks to me like that hat is going to be plus 40. Actually, it might be a really good hat. Uh, looks like plus 40 health, plus 12 speed, and maybe plus 10 critical hit. So that's that's an impressive little hat there. Um, let's come out of here. I'll come in. We're going to go to collection first. Right here, conveniently, is the kickoff hat. So that's what the hat looks like. Obviously, you can put that on other Skylanders. You might actually want to do that, given the stats. Uh, even if soccer's not your thing, you can't argue with stats like this. Plus 12 speed, that is a crazy increase right there alone. Then you get a plus 10 critical hit. That's more than most of the upgrades do. And then plus 40 maximum health on top of that. So a really, really nice hat. Um, if you don't like it on him, you can remove it. I kind of think it looks good. It almost looks like it's replacing the fuse until you realize the fuse is there too. So that said, it is styled after a fuse. It's almost like an antenna topper type deal. Uh, which that said, I haven't seen many antenna toppers recently. Uh, a couple years ago, like uh, oh, I don't know, sophomore, junior year of college, those things were everywhere. Prior to that, it was like Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, they kind of had the whole thing going on, and then they just kind of became popular again. And uh, then they just faded out. So, uh, random notes at 4.40 in the morning. But, uh, we're going to come over to Spyro's head. As you can see, we're up to 174 overall. 22 Tech Skylanders. The man of the hour, however, uh, we've got Countdown. That's his standard pose. Uh, looks like a California Raisin. Then you've got Angry Countdown, the light core version. And somewhere in this mess of hilarity, there he is. Kickoff Countdown, the special one. I'm the bomb. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now, note that question mark is only there because I don't have his soul gem. It's actually, it's not too hard to find. It's in Cascade Glade. I got it right off the bat in the Expo version. Don't really know what I was doing. Uh, to miss it in this one. I just haven't had time to go back and get that, so I'll have to do that before I upgrade him. Otherwise, I would be in for a really bad surprise. Uh, sadly, again, right here, it's something I wish they would have done. I understand it would have taken time, and it's not like of the utmost importance, but some of these characters, it would have been really neat to have like the special artwork there. Uh, countdown, I'm the bomb. In this case, Kickoff Countdown. Uh, kickoff Countdown was discovered by a group of soccer-playing yetis who were 
playing soccer one particularly chilly morning when they came across a big soccer ball encased in ice. After bringing the soccer ball back to their cabin, they were shocked when it actually came to life. No one, not even Kickoff Countdown himself, has any memory of where he came from or how he ended up frozen in the mountain soccer field. Since becoming a Skylander, Master Eon has been graciously trying to help piece together fragments of his past, but this has proven difficult, as Kickoff Countdown loses some of his memory every time he explodes or heads a soccer ball, which happens a lot. In the meantime, Kickoff Countdown has enjoyed working with Eon and fighting alongside the Skylanders to defend their world against evil, even though he occasionally forgets what he is doing. So, uh, there you have it. That is my on-the-fly Kickoff Countdown themed biography. Didn't know I was even going to do it, but I did, so it's done. And uh, hopefully that makes up for him not being in the soccer ball trim there for you. But uh, we'll back out of here. I uh, want to come in now and go to Ooh, Skylander I'm and Stats. This is what I see on the gamepad, which is a huge advantage of the Wii U version. Uh, max health, obviously box stock. He's 290, so that's plus 40, which we've confirmed. Speed, 55. He's usually 43. That's plus 12. Armor sitting at 12. It's amazing that hat didn't give armor, which, I mean, that seems really out of place, but it did everything else, you know. Uh, critical hit, box stock. He is 8. I've got that one charm. I've only done, like, two of those arena challenges. And uh, one of them had the plus one critical hit. I sometimes forget that. But plus 10 is what this hat yields. Elemental power, box stock 25, plus 70 thanks to our giant count of uh, Tech Skylanders. But uh, you can check him out there. I like that his eyes are blue, too. That kind of ties in well. Uh, matches everything, but it also kind of makes them easier to appear than if they just left them black. Again, the antenna topper soccer ball hats. Well, oh, I just got a text message, and I'm assuming that it was sent long ago. There's some serious issues with the tower near my home. But, uh, this hat, really good, just like all the special hats, you know, uh, Jolly, Springtime, Trigger Happy, etc. Plus 40 health, plus 12 speed, plus 10 critical hits. So, there you go on that, and we're going to come in now and look at his quest. Why? Because we'll save the upgrades for last. Okay. First six of these really basic. We're going to go through them quick. Defeat a thousand enemies, eat 15 fruits, win 10 PvP, don't take damage, fully max the character out and get to level 20. Uh, elementalist, which again to me, I realize why it's elemental specific. I still think it should just be a standard one. Uh, tech specific, complete a total of 25 lock pissing lock picking puzzles with this Skylander. Uh, the way I like to do this is I actually like to come in when I first start up the game here in Woodboro. I always go in. I just finally got Countdown through with it, and now I've almost got uh, Nitro Magna Charge done with it. So uh, that's one way to kind of one at a time piece it together. Uh, Outtect is the other tech-specific one. Defeat Glumshanks and Jungle Rumble without switching Skylanders. That's not too bad. Way easier than not taking damage. And then lastly, uh, this one is specific to Countdown, Kickoff Countdown in this case. Defeat 10 enemies at once with your self-destruct explosion ability. Again, sounds complicated. Throw them in an arena challenge with a bunch of Greebles or Chompies, and uh, there you have it. So that is that. We're going to come in now and look at upgrades. Bomb head we showcase. Press A to shoot a bomb head that explodes and damages enemies in a larger area. Next up is rocket blast. Press Y to fire a rocket. Don't know why those are out of order there. Uh, controlled burst. Hold Y to charge a rocket. Release to shoot a large rocket that deals increased damage. Next up, roaring rockets. Rockets do increased damage. Kaboom. Uh, next is his tertiary attack, Explosive Friendship. Press X to summon a bomb ally that explodes near enemies. Then finally, base upgrades end with Hefty Concussion. Press A to shoot a more powerful bomb head that does increased damage. Press A again to detonate the bomb head. Now you got two paths, you've got Boom Buddies Forever up top. Press X to summon a bomb ally that explodes near enemies. You can now have four active at once. Then we've got Bombing Blitzers. Bomb allies do increased damage, adorable, and explosive. And we end that path with Lingering Sparks. Bomb allies shoot flames from their fuses that damage nearby enemies. If you're not a fan of those types of paths, you'll probably want to take the Rocketeer path. Hold Y. That is triple threat, I apologize. Hold Y to charge a rocket, and then you will release to shoot a large rocket and two smaller rockets. 
Next up is Warhead Hands. All rocket attacks do even more damage. Danger, explosive hugs. Uh, lastly, we end this path with Mega Mortar. Controlled burst does increase damage, and it does it in a larger area. Uh, best of both worlds there, if you will. Uh, finally, as you can see, that's haunting me, the Soul Gems and Cascade Glade. I know right where it is, but uh, I just don't have it in the Wii U version yet. So, Self-destruct. Hold A for a short amount of time to cause a massive amount of damage to every enemy nearby. Really looking forward to upgrading this guy. What I plan to do... I always... I'm I'm not a huge fan of, like, the mini paths, you know, where you spawn the uh, Sonic Booms, Babies, Double Troubles, Conjurer, uh, things of that nature. Um, the Monkey Master path, you know, but that turned out to be good. And the thing is, why did I take that? It was unique to him. And two... Those paths are absolute beastly with Double Trouble and Sonic Boom, so um, that might be neat. I'll actually reserve my official call until I've done his base upgrades, and then I'll kind of get a feel for what it might be like based on Explosive Friendship. But uh, Standard Countdown will have one of these paths. Light Core Countdown will have the other one, hopefully the one that I don't like as well, which that's sometimes hard to stage. And then out of those two paths, once I've done them, well, whichever path that I actually like the best, that's what I'm going to give to Kickoff Countdown. Why? Because he's special, and that's what we're going to do for someone special. So uh, that said, we'll back out of here, back out of there. Um, really nothing else to show you here, but uh, very cool looking character. Again, he released, uh, I guess, last... Sunday the 17th, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, Doomstone was Tuesday the 13th, countdown, I think, so. yeah, I think it was Sunday the 17th. But, um, no, 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 no. I have my date wrong. I missed out on the Mario Kart 8 Club Nintendo pre-registration because they only had it for the download one when I was looking in advance. I finally got free time tonight when the videos were rendering and it was there and then it didn't let me do it because it was after midnight. So I changed the date on my computer trying to circumvent that and it did not work. So this is really the 24th. Uh, so that would mean Sunday would be the 25th. So that would mean the last Sunday was the 18th, I think. So nonetheless, he was just recently released. The good news is, like I said at the start of the video, my local Toys R Us still had plenty of them, and uh, I don't think you'll have any trouble tracking them down. That said, if you do want Kickoff Countdown, definitely pick him up while the getting is good. Don't wind up in a situation where you really want him and all you can find is stuff that's overpriced and being, uh, you know, sourced on uh, the internet by some scalper. So, uh, that said, I actually really like the way he looks. Um... The blue eyes were a nice touch. He really does look like a soccer ball. So uh, I'll get him unboxed. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two unboxings or one. Uh, I'm going to give my nephew the option to have like a solo unboxing on his own channel. And uh, if he decides to like tag team it, you know, we'll just go that route. But that's why I haven't unboxed him. Again, uh, it's kind of like a surprise for my nephew. And uh, somehow I was able to pull it off. So it worked out really well there. But uh, that said, I will end this. It is almost 5 in the morning. I probably have no business up grading hoot loop but i think i might do it so uh stay tuned for that i'll at least probably take him through get his base upgrades for him and enchanted so uh stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed whenever it is that i do those next videos you will be the first to know as a subscriber you can follow me on twitter like me on facebook circle me on google plus whichever you prefer again thanks for watching and i will catch you back here for whatever it is that we do next